Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Outlanders. We're up to episode 8 I believe and today we're starting things off back at the little base that we've been starting things. Now in a recent stream I did, well I did fall into the water but I also completed a fair bit of this area. Now I, it isn't quite complete, I've got quite a few houses in but I've still got more plans to expand the area and make it generally pretty good. So I've got a fair bit of variation between the houses but if we take a look out over here and swing back, I think that looks pretty good. But this is not where we're going to be spending most of our time. We're going to be going over to here, if I don't tab out, to where we are starting a new industrial district. And this is going to be the starter base of our farms. So we've got wheat and beetroot over here, which of course need... Actually, no, these are the potato and the carrot, which need the villager in the middle. And we've got the potato... The, wheat and the beetroot in these four. It doesn't really matter which one they go in, just as long as they're in those. And I'm thinking I'm going to put a huge warehouse on top of this, as well as have villagers somewhere. I'm thinking either underneath or on the next level. I'm not quite sure which. But if we head back over to our little town here, we will see that we have got a incoming delivery of terracotta, which then needs to come over here. So we've got terracotta over here, but we need to pay a moss block. I didn't pay the shipping fees, apparently. So what I've got here is a totally legit moss block, and as soon as George Apaka gets on, or Morgan Withers, we're going to be able to talk to them and hand over the moss block. So we'll see what we can do with that. Hey, Morgan. Hey, Mags. Thanks for coming around to deliver my terracotta. Yeah, you know, it takes a long time, you know, like, walking from my new base all the way over here. Yeah, does an ice boat race. <laughs> well, I don't like using that. I like to take as slow as possible by not eating any food and crouching. Anyway. Hence why you have to pay for delivery. <laughs> yes, I hear you want one singular moss block. Yes, I see you're holding grass. You're not going to give me... Well, I guess I'll just keep my, That's um... That's moss block, come on. It says moss block. <laughs> it, it's obviously a grass block. I don't know what texture pack you have on. It looks exactly the same to me. Well, um, I guess I'll keep th this terracotta. I mean, I could use it in my base. Look, if you're looking on my screen, it says moss block. They're both exactly the same. Well, I can't really see your screen. Can I? No. Fine. Look, just... One moss block. In fact, you can have two. Thank you. Thank you for aiding the rebel. You can have Ew, two moss no. blocks. Yeah, I'll take this one and you won't get your terracotta. What? No. <laughs> I paid that two... isn't moss. That is grass. I paid two moss blocks. Come on. Fine. Do you want shocker boxes back or? Uh, you can keep them. I have too many. Okay, fine. Thank you very much. No problem. <laughs> See you later. Yep. Bye. Bye. Well, after that little scam attempt didn't quite work out, I still have got myself three shulker boxes of terracotta. Now, I didn't. It doesn't really matter that it is dyed because, with thanks to a little pack that we has been designed, we can just dye it any color we want. So that is going to be really, really useful in the future as we start to build up ourselves a few factories. Now, I'm going to quickly sleep. And then we're going to get into the next bit. Now, I've been doing a little bit of thinking as to how these things are organized, and I'm not exactly sure that this is going to be what I want. I'm kind of thinking I want a couple of factory-like designs. I want one, if I can fly it up, one facing this way like that, and another one facing this way, and maybe one over here as well. So three different ones, maybe the same, maybe slightly different. All of them are going to be my farming ones. I'm going to have the four crops I outlined earlier, and the melon and pumpkin here, maybe not so large. And then maybe a few other things that produce things that can go into traders, trading villagers' mouths, like eggs, I think is one thing. And then I can also get myself a lot of my meat villagers, like I did last season as well. So there's quite a few big plans. But unfortunately for that, it means I'm going to have to do, undo all the process I've done, uh, progress I've done today. So... That is not exactly ideal, but we're going to have to get it done. So let's rip this up and start replanning.
I've had a little bit of time to think and what I think I'll do here is I'm going to reduce this by two levels. So I'm going to go down to about here or three levels really. I'm going to go down to about here. Y is 65 which is a little bit higher than I would have liked but I should be okay to be able to get a lot of land in. So it should be relatively flat. Now Char withering away that's not particularly helpful because I think at the time he is now fighting a wither which got away so I may or may not have to go and help him but we'll see what happens. Well I changed my mind a little bit I decided to go with just that Y is 67 because it would have meant a lot of clearing and I don't particularly keen for that as well as there's a lot of stone under here so that would have meant even more stuff to clear and I don't have the shulker box room for it. That all said I've now got myself a very good place to do all this. Now what I am currently thinking is if I can get all this stuff away another person withers away so if I what I'm thinking is I'm going to have one factory here a middle one which is going to have all my villagers another one over here which is going to have the other two crop farms and a fourth one at the back which is going to have my I think I'm going to have the uh, third lot of stuff so the, the pumpkins the melons and my egg production over there so that's quite a lot of stuff so we need to start measuring out so quite a bit more progress to go one two so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen it needs to be seventeen capped so a little bit more stuff to do and hopefully we can actually start getting work on the actual well, not the production side of things, but the actual buildings around it. So I'm going to measure this out, all four of them, or well, at least the two, four bits of this and then the, over there as well. And then we can get started on finally building these things. And now that I've got all these measured out, I think it's time to get into a quick time lapse to start building up this thing. I'm just going to do the one and then replicate it across to this one over here. And I'll do a different design for the center one because it just needs to be different. So what I'm going to do here is use a variant of granite and bricks. And I think that should work pretty well. I've got quite a bit of granite due to diorite and what's the thing? The quartz being a good thing mixture. So that should work quite well. Let's get straight into it.
And after that quick time lapse, which was this building over here, I built a second one over here. So this one is going to hold one to two of the crop farms, and this one over here, the other two crop farms. I'm probably going to make this building a little bit smaller in the future and make it hold all my villages, as I said earlier. So this. I think we'll need to come in a fair bit, but overall I'm pretty happy with the way these buildings look. They're sort of warehousey types, which is exactly what I want to go for. This next one I think is also going to have a somewhat similar look, although I may put in some curvy bits in here to give it a little bit more texture and a little bit more look of what I'm going to go for. So let's get rid of this thing here and continue on with our plans. Now I've come over to the shopping district to check up a bit on the state of the turf war because if we remember last time we put in a few of these magma blocks to try and kill off some of the moss and we, if we can see here it is starting to work. Some of the moss is starting to die off in places so that magma is definitely starting to work and I think we're making great inroads. However, if we do fly around we can see that mycelium is starting to take a comeback here. This was used to be a massive patch, and now there's a bit of a mycelium incursion into our lands. So I'm not exactly sure who's doing this bit, but the moss doesn't seem to be making that much of a of an inroad, I'd say. But however, we do need to make a big statement, and we are going to be doing that later on with George, or very soon with George, I should say. Morgan Withers, who's the leader of the Moss Gang, is has a little bit of a pet axolotl, I believe, na the name of Dividius or something like that. So George and I are going to go kidnap it, and that should mean we're going to win this turf war. And so in a little bit we're going to meet up with George, hopefully he's just about ready, and then we're going to go and see what we can do about this pet, and hopefully we can bargain with Dividius to win this war. Hello George. Hey Magpie. How is you? I was doing better till I saw all this moss come back. Oh yes, I do see our magma attempts have succeeded somewhat. Yeah, they're, they're doing well. But There's I'm most really good displeased patches. about this mycelium incursion over here. Yes. I'm worried somebody might be changing sides. Yes. Now, do you have a plan for this? Do you have a plan? I I think I might have a knockout plan for at least the moss and possibly the mycelium. Ooh, very, very good. What do you, what what is it? I've been around Morgan's base recently and I've I've seen this axolotl that has been treated like a god. And I think if we manage to capture that, we might be able to get Morgan onto our side. That would be a big power play indeed. A very big bargaining chip. And I think if we can get Morgan on our side, we'll either be able to knock out the moss, which is intrusioning, or really weaken one of them. Yes. Sounds like a plan. Shall we head over there now? Yeah. You know, for an okay. axolotl loving person, they really do like killing them. These are the sacrifices to dividers. The sacrifices. Oh, well. Okay, so dividers is in here, is it? Yep, yeah, right down here. I sort of don't trust myself. Divide. Diviodios. Diodia. Dividers. What is it? Bucket of Dividios. I am horrible at getting out of this thing. Oh, I am not. There we go. Now, I presume you're going to keep this thing because I don't, I don't want to keep it in my base. Yeah, I, I have a plan to keep it at the greenhouse. Perfect. Also, I noticed that they really go oh, full moss, team moss, and cover it. Yeah, they. That must definitely be Team Moss, so I wonder who's fighting for the mycelium. Never mind that, they've got a stroke just... of grass. Oh, maybe, maybe we don't need to convince them. We'll find out soon, I guess. We should have. I was going to say we should have covered this in grass, but it wouldn't have worked because then it would be It would just be covering dirt. it in dirt. Yeah. Whoops. I'd be smart. <laughs> oh, well. So, after that very short prank, is there anything else we can do around here to spice up? Ah, uh, we could place some grass at their new base. They have a new base. Yeah, follow me. So it might not be the most genius of pranks, but I think if we just dug out a single block in here somewhere and replaced it with one cobblestone, 
<laughs> it's still going to be haste one, but they might not notice. What do you okay, say? That, that? That's true. That that would be kind of funny. So if we put that there, uh, gold and an emerald. How the heck do they have this much gold and emerald and iron to give away? Uh, I think they bought the emerald. That kind of makes sense. Nutria's got a pretty good shop. So now it's a pretty good deal over. Well, uh, well, they don't have haste. I think it's sharpness or something or whatever. I'm not sure. But I don't really know how beacons work. I just know they work. <laughs> but, yes, that should prevent them from getting haste too, I hope. So, probably not the best prank in the world, but we shall see what they respond with. Yep. And I should leave the iron block here somewhere. I will just, if I leave it in one of these shulker boxes that has iron, hopefully. So it's a lot harder to tell. Seems like Man, a pretty a good plan. They have a lot of terracotta. Yeah, there was a mountain here not too long ago. Okay, well, uh, I'll just, I'll put it in this random one. Okay, okay. so thanks for that, George. That's so good. We sh I shall we shall see what Morgan comes back with when yep. they find we've captured Davidios. They should be quite interesting. Indeed. And after a little bit of time, it looks like George has built a little area for... Well, wait, what is his name? De De Riveros, or whatever it is. So it kind of looks like exactly what he was in already. So it, can it is a good representation, I hope. Hopefully he stays in there and we can use this as a bargaining chip for Morgan later on. We can also see that this has been cleared of all experience. We don't need them anymore, so there'll be a good. It'll be good to keep this for later on. But I think, I think, I think, I think that is all we've got time for today. So thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to go help Char because he drowned, uh, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and see you in the next one. Goodbye.